Hello everybody, today we're installing this beautiful toilet. This is the toilet Highline Arc uh, by color and this toilet is a very good looking toilet. It flushes 10 out of 10. Uh, look at this one. It looks very nice, uh, very good quality. And um, before you buy this toilet, if you haven't bought it or before you take it out of the box, make sure measure from the wall to the bolt of of the toilet flange and make sure that this is the toilet that you need. 99% uh, of the toilets are 12 inches, but there's some uh, 11s and there's some 10s. So before you open it, make sure yours is a 12, just like this one. Uh, this one has a chair height, so it's taller. Uh, this is a round front ball, it's very nice. So I'm gonna take you step by step how to install this toilet. So let's do it. So in the box, you're gonna find the ball, the toilet seat, the tank, and the tank lid. Uh, also in the box, it comes with the wax ring and the bolts for the flange. It doesn't come with a water supply line, so don't forget to buy the water supply line. Uh, if you see these caps for the bolts, this one is from Fluid Master. I bought it separately. If you buy the Fluid Master, you don't have to cut the bolts because uh, the plastic is longer. And also, I'm gonna use a stronger, thicker screws. So, I'm setting the bolts uh, to my flange. And the reason I like these bolts are because they have a toggle uh, nut. So, this nut is to hold it against the flange so it doesn't move so when you put your toilet it doesn't move and then we're gonna use uh, as I said it comes with double uh, four nuts two to secure uh, the bolts to the flange and two to secure the toilet I just put the wax ring I prefer to do it put it here some people prefer to do it at the bottom of the toilet that's fine too Okay, so now I'm positioning my toilet right here, the bowl. If you see my flange there with the two screws, I'm gonna lift with both hands. And then these holes right here on the side, they have to make it over here. So I'm gonna lift it up and then I put it, I'm gonna put it there. So now I'm grabbing it from here. You have to lift it up, align it to both And now, right. so look at that. That's how it's, that's one side and that's the other one. Okay, now I'm gonna do my nuts and my cap. And if you remember, it came with this one, it's too low. This one, you don't have to cut the bolt. So it's very handy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this one first. Then this one, this plastic one. And then the knot, and then this guy. And we're gonna do the same with the other bolt. I'm not getting it very tight yet because I still have to put my my ball on top and then I have to move it around so I might just have to move it to align it so we're gonna leave it like that and this one this one I'm just gonna put it there for now and now I'm gonna install the tank the tank goes here there are three bolts right there one two three and so there is three bolts here. So that one, the whole bowl is, the tank is gonna be on top. So you're gonna line the three bolts in the three holes. Now you're gonna come here inside the tank and we're gonna push all 
three bolts down so they come out on the other side. Okay, now if you see the bolt here, so we're gonna put a, a the washer and then the nut. And then you're gonna do all three bolts, one here, two, three, and then we're gonna get them tight. Don't do it too hard because you might break the tank. So you're gonna tighten the nut for the bolt and just look at this, the rubber piece, just as long as the china touches that, we still have to go like one more eight. But you have to be careful, don't break it. You could use this, the, uh, the socket, but just do it with your hand. Don't do it with the wrench because then you'll break it. And the bolt in the back is a pain in the butt. It's hard to do because it doesn't fit or the wrench. There's no room for the wrench in there. So we're gonna use a 13 millimeter wrench here. And as I said, be careful, don't do it too hard. If you see the rubber piece there, it has to be China, rubber, piece, and then China. Uh, if you see there, it's we still can go a little bit more, but not too much. Just be careful, don't break it. So it's a 13 millimeter. And when you feel some resistance, stop. Don't go any further because you're gonna break it. Okay, now, now that we have our tank secured to the toilet. We're gonna make sure that the distance between here and here in the back of the tank is the same. So remember, we didn't tighten it up, tighten it up too much because we, we know we're gonna move it. So now I'm gonna move it with my, with my legs. I'm gonna move it a little bit like that. So I'm gonna use my legs and see how it's gonna move here. There, so not too much. You can bring a measuring tape and measure. And now we can do these ones here. Say same thing here, don't go to, just go with your hand and tighten the bolt. Don't go with the ratchet because you break the toilet. Then don't go all the way there, I'll do this one. Okay, and now we're gonna do the cap. And this cap has threads, so it's easy to cover. Look at that. And now since we're here, we're gonna do the water supply. So these are the parts for the toilet seat. We're gonna place our toilet seat on top. Then we're gonna do one washer there. And then, I don't know if you see it there. Okay, one washer there and then the screw. Then washer and screw on the other side. And then this guy. So we have the screw and the washer 
and then this will not it's gonna be under you want to hold it from here and then with the screwdriver just get it tight and before you get before you get it very tight center the toilet seat to make sure it's center and it makes sense right there and then get it tight enough and then do the other one and then you can close these guys you want to put it here i put one here and this one goes here goes there just like that you want to press and that's so it doesn't make noise when it goes down and this is a slow closing you, you see slow closing so is that part look at that it takes like a whole minute to close so that's so you don't wake up your wife in the middle of the night when you go to pee <clears throat> now we're gonna we flushed these in a bucket and now we're gonna turn it on. So now that we turn the water on, make sure that the water doesn't overflow. We're gonna put the, ca uh, the cover, the tank cover, and then we're gonna test it. So that's it for today guys please uh, like this video and please subscribe see you next video